Hey guys, Lex here back for some more Nino Kuni. Last time we fixed Mornstar, and now we're trying to get the Clarion. But, uh, Bill's soulmate stole it, so we gotta go back to Motorville. Let's go. And, uh, that wood back, even though we could probably bought it <laughs> from the Caller Master. I doubt he'd be asking a million G's for it. It's not Phil's house, that's my house. Let's go. Oh, it is Phil. What the hell? Phil! Oh, it's you. Come to get even, huh? Even? Even for what? All I wanted was to build an auto of all of my own. Hot rod faster than finer than any other. Sure you did, Phil. It was what we both wanted. But my dream, it... Killed somebody. Gee, huh? Killed your mom! Don't say that, Phil. Don't ever say that. It wasn't your fault. I don't know, I don't want to worry you, Ollie Boy, but there's a funny look in your mate's eyes. Oh, he looks crazy. Oh, I guess we're starting off strong. With a fight. Ooh, fatty, too. Philip's Nightmare, Void of Ambition. Oh, Ambition. That's the last thing. Alright. Let's go swing. Now you're for it. Shot. Ready? Oh, I forgot to heal. Oh, I didn't. Oh my God, I didn't do anything. Right to everyone. Oh, wrong one, wrong one. Defense, defense. Uh, strong coffee. Cappuccino. So these are the guys I saw, or fought before. Figure out what he's weak to. Or a light. Yeah, he's weak to light. Let me just use. That's cheaper too. Our light's only 12. Oh, 
Oh, no, that's not what I was doing. Change tactics. It's healthy. That's your, that's your thing. It's a difference with backup and keep us healthy. Thank <laughs> you. 
wasn't too bad, but that took forever. <laughs> Slash and burn. Ooh. Still broken hearted. Bill. Must be really hate me, Ollie. Guess we're not friends anymore, huh? No, I never said that. Should have been me. It should have been me in that car. I should have been in the river. That way your mom would never have had to save you. That way she'd still be alive. I think like that, Phil, it won't change anything. What was I thinking? Trying to build a car. If I hadn't built that hunk of truck, none of this would have ever happened. True. Bill, this is it, but my mom would have wanted. She wanted, wanted you to see like this. We're trying to make our dreams come true. We were trying to make the neatest car in the whole world, remember? Our dreams. Ah, holy shit. Who cares about the dumb drapes? But, I listened to a word I said your mom's dead because of our dumb dreams. What do I do now? Build another car? Mess it up again, get someone else. Get them, I can't. Uh, listen to me, Phil. My mom would never have wanted to give up on our dreams, I just know it. Remember all those times we sneak into the car factory? Remember the old guy I made friends with there, the engineer? He told us all about cars, didn't he? We promised him we'd make the car better than anything Motorville had ever seen. Remember my mom used to tell us we had cars on the brain, but when she heard us talk about our dream, She'd smile. She never really got mad at us, did she? I remember. She wanted us to follow her dreams. I know she did. Follow her dreams. You know it's what my mom would have wanted. You can't give up your dreams. Huh? Well, I never. I didn't see this one coming, Ollie boy. It's your own heart that's making the locket clue. Your heart's bringing with ambition I should have known. But what am I supposed to do? Can I really take a piece of my own heart? Well, it can't hurt to try now, can it? We'll make a change from borrowing from other folks. Go on, one, give it. Well, it can hurt to try if it hurts you. <laughs> okay, okay, here it goes. Uh, take heart from myself. <laughs> Impulse to strive for a better tomorrow. You obtain some ambition. Jeepers, creepers, that sure felt strange. I guess that must be how all the people who felt helped us felt, huh? Nice one, Ollie boy. I told you it was worth a try, didn't I? Hold on, Phil, there's something I need to share with you. Uh. Oh, shit. How can you say we should follow our dreams? It's thanks to my crummy dreams that your mom. Holy boy, give him that bitch you got yourself before he drives me in body, will ya? Yes, I'll fix him with a piece of my own heart. Give him the heart. Impulse to strive for a better tomorrow. Huh? What are you? What is this? I feel kind of warm inside. I don't know what's wrong with me, Holly Boy. I just can't. I just can't stop crying. But I feel all warm and fuzzy, too. You know what that is, Phil? That's my mom trying to tell you something. Trying to give, say you, sh sh telling you to never give up on your dreams. Never give up. Right, we don't want to let my mom down, do we? So that means we have to keep going, keep on chasing after our dreams. Can't let my mom down, I won't. Right, Ollie, I won't give up. Don't give up on my dreams, on our dreams. That's a promise, Ollie. Bill. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ollie. <laughs> 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 That's how his voice sounded. 
I'm going to study hard and go to college and I'm going to build a car that's safe. A car people can rely on, you'll see. If I don't, you'll hold me, le hold me to that, won't you, Ollie boy? <laughs> Ollie, sure I will, Phil. Well, there's one thing I gotta tell you, Ollie, if you're gonna keep dressing like a weirdo, I <laughs> can't be seen with you. <laughs> oh, these clothes, ah, uh, it's not what you think. Nah, it's okay, really. If you wanna dress like a crazy, who am I to stop you? <laughs> I got important things to do. See you around, nerd, kiddo. Yeah. What the hell are you wearing? <laughs> Tell you the truth, Ollie boy. I didn't know if nabbing a nugget of your own heart was going to <laughs> Thanks, Drippy. <laughs> well, it looks like it worked fine, Mr. Drippy. Feels back to his old self. Waiting for ages. Where is he? Oh. Oh. Yeah, what's wrong with him all of a sudden? Oliver, I've been waiting for... Where were you? P, what are you doing here? This is my house. P, you mean P's here right now? Yes, she came right out of my house, but how did you get inside? I'm a ghost. P, I can do any door. I can open any door I like. Uh, listen, P, I'm not sure you understand. Who were you waiting for? You, silly. I've got something to tell you. Oliver, are you sure you're all right? Whatever happens? Even if you find out the truth? The truth? I'm worried about you, Oliver. Are you sure you're going to be alright? Well, I'm not sure what it is you're worried about, P. As long as my friends are with me, I'll be fine. You don't have to worry about me. Good. Oh, Oliver. What is it? Always, always watch over you. Okay? See you, nerd. Thanks. So, what did P have to say, Oliver? I only heard what you said. She said she was worried about me, so I told her that I had my friends with me and that I was going to be okay. Of course you are, Ollie boy. I got the Lord, high lord of the fairies on your side, and it. And don't forget of me. We've been through a fair few scrapes, but we're still going strong, aren't we? Ah, as if he'd forget you, Swain. Thanks, you guys. That means a lot. Now Phil back to his old self. Let's go see Pip. Right, uh, go back to Ding Dong Dell. Right, uh, gateway. We I could heal. I mean, I'm not gonna pay to heal. The what is what happened to her? Uh, dear, we're inches away from our dream coming true at last. What's the matter with you? Things to matter, I just think it's the whole shop thing. Might be no more than silly fantasy. Oh, uh, what's wrong? Are you two fighting? Not exactly, it's just... Well, my wife has started acting strangely all of a sudden. Yesterday she was all fired up about her dream of owning a shop, but suddenly she's man she's changed her mind. Oh dear me. Loss of shared goals, sudden mood swings, classic signs of marriage on the rocks, those are. Mr. Trippy! Only joking, like... Obviously heartbroken and it lost her ambition as she has. Change of heart, with their shop in Ding Dong Tell 2 to open. One of the traveling merchants has begun to doubt the old venture. A full set of missing virtues restore her ambition. Okay. So close to achieving your dream, they have to help the least uh, them the last step of the way. It's a spirit all boy. Now get out there and grab some ambition. Wow, we're almost done. Okay, let's see how many quests I got to do. Holy shit. Oh, it's not that many. Alma Moon. Giving up her tree. Oh, what? SOA Cove. Hamlin Researcher. Eden. Oh, it's a Hamlin Researcher. Okay. Pretty now. Alpaca Herder seems to be downhearted. Shop. Uh. Inch of Heart. Moving on. Okay. Let's see. Any more of these? Alright, oh, Icy Giant. Southern Winter Wonderlands. Uh, mighty monsters causing avalanches in Winter Isles and terrifying Yule's residents. Something must be done. Damn. That's eight. Another eight and eight. Wow. Kingdom in the Brink in the Western Rolling Hills, Summerlands. A particular vicious monster is heading straight for you, Ding Dong Dell. Must be stopped. Oh. Have an old. Magma get on top of Molesmoky Mount, Summerlands. 
to get a monster that's gotten into its head to try and make Old Smoky Rub put a stop to this madness once and for all. And I have so much money. I, I was doing some testing earlier and every time I died, every, if I were to die, it would <laughs> take a lot of money. Is it like 50k? Ah oh, shit, I gotta go upstairs. And I gotta go up there for the other quest. There's Pip. Eek, it's you! Look, I'm really sorry that I stole what's really important, wasn't it? Huh? What a flipping transformation, Mon. Looks like the mouse really is your pal soulmate. I guess I already sold it. I sell things to the local shop here, you see. Just don't know what to do. Or Pip, just explain the shop here what happened. I'm sure I'll understand. So sorry, Oliver. Ah, oh, you're back, I see. Caught ourselves a thief. Come on, Pip Squeak. Out with it. He said, what? It was me. I stole it. Stole it? A little chap like you. He confessed, didn't he? That mouse stole it and sold it to you, the rotter. I would spend any of the money. I promise I'll give it back to you. Oh, well, since this item is of some value and that its loss has caused you some distress, you said go, but I know where it belongs. You obtained a piece of holy wood. Well, that's sorted then. Lucky the shopkeeper was in the mood to rook us. No, Pip. Can't believe you turn yourself in and return the money, and you call yourself a thief. I'm no thief, I'm telling you. It was just a moment of madness. I'm sorry, sorry. Do it. anything to make it up for you. I mean it. Listen, it's okay. We got it back in the end. Oh, I almost forgot. You said your dreams had driven you to become a thief. That's right. I've got big dreams, but they don't come cheap. I need guilders and lots of them. You heard of something called... Cloud Sweeper? A sort of flying broom powered by magic. Not my kind of thing. Well, it's my kind of thing, that's for sure. Ever since I was little, I always wanted to build my very own Cloud Sweeper. I want to build the fastest, bestest Cloud Sweeper in the whole world. Just me, does it really remind you of someone? Sure does. Say, Pip, building something that goes real so fast is super neat, huh? Oh, finally, someone understands me. Thanks for taking the time to hear me talk about my dream. Now I need to save up some money, the honest way. Look, Pip! Yeah. Alright. Now, here we go. To Ding Dong Do. It's probably a quest on the way. Alright, there was no one uh, on the way with hearts or anything, so... Might as well continue. You had a heart. People of the kingdom, bursting with enthusiasm, it's all thanks to you. I see you again, your meow just Hmm, oh, you have returned. How the devil have you been? One has been busying himself so himself with a rogue hickory de mew. Oh. Unless one is very much mistaken. Comparing the holy wood of Alma Moon. That's right, we wanted to ask a favor of you, your man, your majesty. No need to continue, my dear girl. One knows precisely why you are here. The Caliph chose to entrust the Holy Wood to you. It seems the time has come to reunite the power of the Three Kingdoms. Now, dear boy, allow one to do one's royal duty. Damn. Yes, you obtain a piece of carved Holy Wood. Wow, oh, that was amazing. Yeah, well, surely you expected nothing less. Thank you, your meow justy. Sure has been great seeing you. Uh... But we have a head to Hamlin now. So Moccasin's up next. Here's hoping he's been practicing his carpentry. Why are you mumbling to yourself, boy swain? Oh, you're off to Hamlin. Hmm? Take care, won't you? It's a rather grubby place for one so very pure. Alright, and one it is. And there's a quest over here. Oh, it's that guy again. Uh, no matter what I do, I feel so empty inside. Hmm? Oh, I know you. Do I not? Sure you do. Say, sir. 
Sir, say, do you... You don't look so happy. Are you worried about your research? Research pa. I've called it a day, I'm afraid. Huh? But why do you do that? How can I put it? I suppose I just couldn't see the point of it anymore. A side of my goals. All the high ideals that first inspired me to do a bit of my poor progress. That's terrible. What happened? Well, you might ask, Ollie boy, but you won't like the answer. He lost his ambition. Don't give him his dreams back. His research will never get done. March for progress. A Hamlin researcher has lost sight of the ideals that first inspired him. He has resolved to abandon his life's work. Or his ambition so that he can resume his research. I just let all this hard work go to waste. We have to help him, Mr. Trippy. In case we need to track down a generous measure of ambition, sharpish. There wasn't anything in the fairground last time, so... Let me talk to her. What the hell? Ooh. Tell me, did you find her? Did you find Queen Kulan? Hold your horses. We'll tell you everything once we've gathered all thoughts together. Sorry, please forgive my impatience. And this is as I thought. Queen Kulan lives. Stretching by your account, elves arrived too. Oh, you described them so perfectly. Truly, the state's filled with the gladdest of tidings. Elf, you mean the guard we met? Yes, that is he. For many years, we protected our queen, shoulder to shoulder. Elf and his Abyss. Abyssinia. Elf and his Abyssinia. Dark Detroit struck. We fought to save her. And when the ten came, I implore him to protect Queen Kulon till his dying breath. Though her heart was quickly broken, still Elf watched over her. It's all very well, but you went and flip and died, didn't you? That can't have done your relationship much good. No, nothing could change that. Yet I take solace from the fact that Elf and our queen still live. In the case, it has done me good to speak to you, and who knows, I may see Elf again. I don't know about only wizards in that can see ghosts. Meaning your feller won't be able to see you even if you did bump into. Mr. Trippy! That's alright, your fairy friend is correct, but even though he could not see me, we could not speak. Watch over him. Now, I wish to reward you for all the grand tidings you have brought. Please take the- Holy shit, the gust blew. Thank you very much, but now uh, what is it? I'm not looking further that the royal guards of Xanadu wore. Alf and I each care stars. Hey, I sure who hope to get to meet him one day in Queen Kulan. Thank you, I hope so too. Well, it doesn't that mean if you hope they die? <laughs> Should talk to Elf then. Hey, Moccasin. Hello, Moccasin. We need to we need you to finish carving something for us. Let me ask. Someone didn't go to finishing school. Heard of the word please? Have you? <laughs> ah, I do enjoy your visits. There's a certain liveliness you bring to every occasion. Now you mentioned carving something. Yes, your majesty, Esther was talking about the Clarion. That's right, we need you to help us finish so we can clear a path across the Miasma Marshes. I see, well, you have come to the right place. The Clarion may only be completed by the ruler of Hamlin. But I'm afraid there's a minor problem. Namely that he does not possess the skill required. Oh, how do you know? What do you- how do you mean, your majesty? Complete the Calarion will possess not only magical power, but the talent to carve the necessary holes. While I may have the magical skills, I am unable to help with the more practical aspects of the process. You're saying you're too clumsy to complete the Calarion? Not a matter of clumsiness, I assure you. No, the skills that are acquired are passed from the Emperor directly to his heir. So your father passed away before he could teach you about this stuff, huh? Well then we just have to go back in time and get him to teach you. I can hack. You make it sound so flippin' easy. You only get to use a precious time once in a life to remember. Probably Swain. Oh, you're right. Well, then what do we do? Hmm. Aren't you forgetting someone? Idiots. Swain, do you mean you could have done this while you we were uh, walking here? Truly, did he? Well, I can't promise miracles, but father did teach me a few things, yeah. Ah, yes, your father. Did he, um, come from this kingdom too? Only you never mentioned. <laughs> Gah, alright, alright, I just didn't want to make a big deal of it. Yes, Marcus is my brother, and my real name's Gascon. There, I've said it. <laughs> oh, that, we already knew that already. We were there, you know. 
why were you hell-bent on me <laughs> getting me to admit it? <laughs> anyway, we can discuss the whys and wherefores later. The point is, my father told me what I need to know. You're telling us this now? Let us know a bit earlier, we would have had to come all the way to Hamlin, would we? I'm afraid it's not that simple. I can't do the magic part, you see. Living heck! So you're no use to us either. It's not quite true. Ah, you know what I'm getting at, do you? I suppose it's not all bad having a brain box of a great sage for a brother. Well, I'm not sure. I'm just... You guys are idiots. What cannot be done alone may be done together. Is that so, brother? <laughs> well, I get it. You're going to make it together. Exactly. Now give it here. You ready, Moxon? We've got work to do. Yes, brother. I'm ready. Hmm. <sighs> wow. Uh. That thing sure seems powerful. Yes, and they work so well together. <sighs> wow. Yay. You obtained the clarion. Now we could finally clear the path to Shadar's castle. Thank you, your majesty, and thank you too, Swain. Oh, don't worry about thanking me, but how long is it since we last made something together, Moccasin? Ah, do you remember the model pig tank we made together? Ah, blooming pig tank. That's the last pigging thing I want to be reminded of. <laughs> You'll hear no arguments from me from that score. Anyway, let's focus on the task ahead. Clearing the miasma marshes. Clarion looks so beautiful. Can't wait to hear how it sounds. The gear should be the one to play it, Esther. Yeah, Ollie boy's right. If you ask me, there ain't no better woman for the job. I agree. I mean, I'd love to do it, but I'm tone deaf. I'll do it. I'll play the Clarion and clear a path through the miasma marshes. Truly believe in you, Will. Esther. <laughs> Thank you, your majesty. Come on, Oliver. We should get going. Right, it's time we head to the miasma marshes. The unbreakable bond between the hearts of two princes has unlocked the story in the wizard's companion. The flute makers for brothers. Uh, let's take a look at that real quick. Here, flute makers for brothers. A thick fog. Oops. World's greatest flute. Interesting. But can she equip? Nope, it's a harp. Never mind. Let's go to. Uh, we're doing marshes. Let's just do all the quests. Let's go down the moon first. Oh, ha! If the desert continues to grow at this rate, the oasis on which the town relies will surely... We must act swiftly to prevent such an occurrence. Yes, I must continue my research. There's some kind of problem? There is. The desert is growing at a worrying pace. If we do not act soon, the oasis wolf which Al Mamun relies will be consumed. Lepmon, this is proper serious. Something needs... something needs doing and fast. Yes, it does. This is why I'm conducting research into plant life that will grow readily in desert regions. Plants that only require a little water, the desert could be alive with greenery in no time at all. Wow, that would be so neat! So these plants aren't so thirsty. Do they exist or are they just in your head? My research is only just beginning, but I will discover them. I must. Well, don't drive yourself too loopy trying to find them, will ya? Make your concern, but I will not rest until my ambition is realized. Your ambition, huh? Hey, Mr. Do you think he has some to spare? Reckon he might, Ollie boy. Say, mister, can you help us with your ambition that we can help people who need it? We'll help those in need, you say? Then, of course, you may have some. Thank you so much. I take heart. Impulse to strive for a better tomorrow. So ambition. Hmm, this is an intriguing sensation. My mind feels clear as a crystal. I must continue my research at once. Edo, I'm glad we can help out. We'll be rooting for you. 
Thank you for your support. I am sure I can achieve my goal at last. Uh, I must leave the world of entertainment behind me. I cannot bring myself to practice anymore, let alone perform. What are you saying? Did we not promise each other only yesterday that we would not rest until we achieved greatness together? Uh oh, having a bit of a Barney, is it? What is it about? Lover stiff or something? Mr. Trippy! It's no lover's argument. It is foul flowers. My one and only darling dear has decided to end her career in the world of song. That makes such a fuss that I have changed my mind. That is all. I can make my way in the world without it. I do not need to sing. Well, but you have talked of achieving fame as a singer since childhood. Did you not always tell me it was your greatest dream? My dream, yes, but that's all it was. What need of I for dreams? Mr. Trippy, do you think she's... Yep, broken-hearted she is, robbed of the power of dream, trained of her ambition. Let's do all boy. We should help her out or what? Mooney Isle, a Mooney woman has given up on her childhood dream of becoming a famous singer. Restore her ambition and tell her to follow her dreams. Okay. We can't leave her like this, we have to get her ambition back. What room isn't good, cast give heart and give your back and your ambition. Oh, okay. Oh no. I can't travel. <laughs> it gives. What is the sensation? It's as if the weight of my has been lifted from my soul. I must sing, I must sing, or my heart will burst. Whatever was I thinking? How could I ever have considered giving up on my greatest passion? I must practice harder than ever before. Oh, praise be to the ancients. You are yourself again once. You're getting my tears, darling, and that is all thanks to you, friends. If my undying gratitude here, this is for you. Three patty cakes. Mooney Isle. Mooney woman has given up on her child dream of becoming a famous singer. That's a bonus. Damn. Alright. Oh, I can't travel. Alright, let me... Coffee. Let's... Alright, let's travel to... Where is it? Deep Dark Wood. I'm gonna heal and see if old Father Oak. Hello, old Father Oak. Oh ho, here you are again. How very nice to see you. How goes your journey? Hmm. Tell me about it. Well. Oh ho, so the Clarion is reborn. Sure is. The leaders of the Three Kingdoms all work together to make it. Yeah, they played their part, I suppose. But mostly it was the Lord High Lord of the Fairies' knack for diplomacy made it happen. Oh, Trippy, how can you say that? Oh ho ho ho, my my. So, Oliver, soon you will face him at last. Yes. We cannot know what awaits you, but let me give you a word of advice. You must never give up hope. Hope will always defeat despair. And when despair is defeated, truth can shine forth. Oh, there's mysterious. There's no mystery. Just do as you have always done. Stay pure of heart and you cannot fail. I will, old father oak. Never give up. That's it. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta vacate. Oh. There's a art and a quest. <laughs> guy scared me. Ahoy! I'm sure pirates interest you to that. Yes. Uh, pirates? Yes, I once grew up, but I shall become a great pirate captain. You could even join my crew, perhaps. Uh, I'm sorry, it's real nice of you to ask and all, but I don't think I'm well cut out for pirating. Arr, that is a shame, I think. You should have a good look of your first mate. So, uh, you really want to be a pirate captain when you grow up, huh? Arr, not an ordinary pirate. I shall be the king of the pirates. I'll be the greatest pirate in the world. I shall become king of the pirates. Imagine setting sail with a crew of close friends tracking down hidden treasure. I don't think anyone could be any better. I bet his parents are pleased about his practical pir piratical ambitions. 
What did you do today, son? Bit of pillaging, was it? There is lowly flipping hat guy. Not now, Major Drippy. Just look at him, he bit his whole heap of ambition. Ambition, what's that mean? Does it taste good? Uh, it's nothing. Don't worry. When you say you want to be a pirate, do you mean one of the bad ones? The one that steal things and hurt people? Of course I do. I intend to be a pirate of injustice. Oh, well, <laughs> that sure is good to hear. Oh, anyway, well, we were wondering if maybe you could help us out with something. It's for good cause. Gladly, I shall help assist you. No doubt it will be a fine practice for when I become king of the pirates of injustice. Uh huh, I guess I will. Thanks, future king of the pirates of injustice. <laughs> okay. Impulse to strive for a better tomorrow. You obtain some ambition. Ah, arr, that felt nice and warm. You're a very nice boy and very talented also. Be sure you'll not join my crew. Uh, can I think about it? Well, consider it wonderful. The high seas await. Wow. There's so many pirates in this game. My favorite part of the game. All the pirates. Ah, why did I ever choose this accursed profession? Uh, but I thought you weren't scared of the sea anymore. Oh, I'm not fearful. It's just that I no longer see the point. Perhaps fishing is not for me. What? Why? You just got your own boat and everything. Well, what good is a boat? Ugh, I could fish for 40 days and 40 nights, but what would it truly achieve? When I was a boy, I was sure that I would one day command a fleet of fishing vessels. Just like my father before me. Ah, oh, it was a foolish dream. Hang on about. I know a wrong over the time. He's just lacking in about a bit of ambition, that's all. Doesn't think he'll make anything himself as a fisherman, so he's thinking of chucking it all in. There's tragic. Fisherman want. I guess we go fisherman. Started to question his dream of owning a mighty fleet of fishing vessels. For his ambition so that he can aim for high once more. So he can aim high once more. Alright, Oily Boy, let's go and land ourselves some ambition. Alright, Oily Boy, uh, give. <laughs> Who's saying that? Hmm? Oh, what nonsense I am allowed to pass my lips. There's no reason why I should not have a fleet to equal my father's. Child's faith was not unfounded. Aha, looks like someone's got a stream back. Uh, indeed I have, and you are the ones I must thank. Please accept this simple gift. It is a token of my gratitude. Oh, wow. What a fisherman, what fisherman want? Guess why co-fisherman has started to question his dream of owning a mighty fleet of fishing vessels. Oh. Five merit stamps. There's a blister with a fine fishing list. Let's have nets and sail for whatever. Okay, so we want Kesuiko Fairy Ground. Maybe there's gonna be a bunch of ambition in here. Two, I knew it. Solutions, how many? One. And I need. Eighty, eighty, din dins. Oh, over here. Roll up, roll up. Oi, you, Sonny Jim. Ah, uh, Sonny, do you mean me? Of course, man. Who else do that I mean? Stop and have a bite to eat, will ya? Does smell flippin' tasty. Does, um, what is it? What is it, he says. Are you telling me you've never come across the fairy grounds most famous food? Very rare bit. Oh, no, I haven't. Nickers, I knew I should have carried out my plan sooner. What plans are that, Mon? It's planning to open a fairy rarebit shop in every town in the city and the world to spread the word of our wonderful food, wasn't it? Flip it, Mon. That's a tidy little plan. It'll be a bit hard, though. Of course it will. But it's to teach the world about the fairy's finest foodstuffs. It's worth it, ain't it? Oh, uh, why? That, that doesn't show a tiny bit of ambition. You'll know what does. Right, Mr. Trippie, excuse me, fairy. Can you ask you something? Eh, uh, what is it? 
I'd like to take a little bit of your ambition to, to help somebody who doesn't have enough of their own. Would that be okay? Of course, man. Go for your, your life. Really? Gee, thanks. Alright. That's the last two, unless there's more new. Tools for... to strive for a better tomorrow. It contains more ambition. Boy, there's not a feeling cracking like a new ferryman. Travel to Ding Dong Dell. Is there a boss? Oh, all the way up there. Okay. Let's turn this in first. Get him there. Give it heart. Give heart. shop our dream shop ah oh, what am i doing there's no time to waste we have to sell 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 she's back my dear darling wife is back all better looks like tidy you know now we can then they can realize they're dreaming together at last thank you so much for your help here take this it's the least we could do be sure to visit when the shop opens healing rain gem change of heart with their shop and Ding Dong Dell do to open, one of the th traveling merchants has begun to tell the whole adventure. Oh. Wonder if they actually opened the shop. Oh, and we've clicked a few alchemy formula on our travels too here. I'm sure they'll be more use to you than at all to us. Oh shit. Hell yeah. A little longer we'll have to tighten our spurt seeings, but it'll be worth it. Getting uh thank you for forever getting us out of trouble. Thank you for your help. Well, let's see. Where is it? Formulae. Wait, no. Formulae. Let's see, what do we got? Skyfall Sword. It's an ingredient too. And I don't have any of them. Demon's Axe. And also, Meteor Mount. Giant Spear, also an ingredient. Armor of Justice, Brilliant Armor, Wizard Robes. Damn, nothing I could... Heavenly Mantle, no materials. Oh, there, Drake Stone. <laughs> Worm from Ring, whatever. Worm King Scale. Oh, shit. That's plus five everything. And crits. Oh, all ailments ineffective. Berserker's badge increases attack but lowers defense. Alright, let's travel to Dark Wood. Look, guys, close. And then let's do. Big fortune, I haven't done that here. I really don't wanna let's get stuff on the way. Uh, let's get these three near here and then the top left. Oh, whatever. Boom. Seen one of these. 
Abby. Here goes nothing. Um. Yeah, let's now go. you're for it. Get a load of this. Evolve. Shit. I knew I forgot something. Shellfire. Let's go. Come on. Crossbite. Oh, I forgot 
to switch weapons. He has no weaknesses. Fairy ground, grab the other heart and heal.
Okay. <laughs> Let's go. There's a big group over there. Big dude. Oh, dude, drippy boy. You going to watch the next show before you head off? Acting. Coming up are only onions. Next big thing, I reckon. Check him out. What? Sleepy one? Is it this one? Pokemon. He says, nah, man, I seen the other filler coming back with a bunch of bananas. Oh. You know, other fella coming back with a big bananas. He's going and doing, Mr. Fairy. No, oh, he's uh, practicing a punchline in it. Oh, oh, you mean the punchline of a joke? Gee, you sure practice hard. The only way to get through, though, isn't it? Through coming doesn't come easy. Never mind getting it right, man. Nail it, knock it out of the park like. What's am I going to become the greatest straight man? The fairy, your soul. Jeepers, that's some ambition, man, Mr. Fairy. Not wrong, little boy. Uh, or you fancy lending us a hand, pal? What? Now? Can't you see I'm flipping busy? Come on, you big idiot. You won't take a second. Alright, if you have to. But only because you asked me nicely. Thanks so much, all in so much. My voice is dying. <laughs> I've been recording for... I've only been recording for two hours, but... Oliver's voice is killing me. You obtain some mission, impulse to strive for a better tomorrow. Heck, do you do? I feel all calm. Um, maybe I'm trying to pick it too hard, eh? Alright, uh... I gotta go to... Hamlin, I think. Alright, it's time to give. Cast give hard and give him back the ambition he needs. Everything. Is that the last heart? <laughs> That'd be nice. Aye, there they are. I could sense them clear as day. My goals, my deals, my dreams. There's no time for idle chitter chatter. Full steam ahead for my research. Sure, it's just swell to see you with all your dreams back, sir. I do believe you have come to aid me once again. There are no words express my gratitude. I do have this. I trust it will be to your liking. Whirly Whirly's gem. March of progress. Hamlin researcher has lost sight of the ideals that first inspired him and has resolved to abandon his life's work. All right. Uh, so it did Castaway Cove, Fairground, Skull Mountain. Let's go in here. We got all the pirates here. Oh, let's talk to him. I vow to stand by my queen and protect the town. Oh. It's no good. I'll never be alpaca herder. Gee, what's the matter? You sure do look sad. Or about something. I not care anymore. Why should I spend my days chasing after stupid alpacas? I've become the greatest alpaca herder in Perdita, but so what? It does not matter to anybody. Well, gee, I think it does matter. I mean, you'd be doing an important job and everybody would respect you. Listen to him, Shonshine. They're your wise words, they are. Taught you well, Ollie boy. Being the best alpaca herder in Perdita would be swell, wouldn't it? Maybe. I no longer know. I no longer spend my days dreaming about herding in my alpacas through the field at sunset. Well, you know what this case of, huh, do you? Ollie boy, poor lad lost his ambition. Ain't it? Broken arteries. Still packing it in. A young boy is about to give up his dream of becoming the greatest alpaca herder in Perdita. Restore alpaca herder's lost ambition. Can't just leave him like this. We have to help him get his ambition back. Nice one, boy. Let's see if there's a chunk of ambition going begging somewhere around you by here. Oh, it's around by here, alright. Is it. Dog. Lots of girl. Tra la 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 Gee, you sure do have a pretty voice. Thank you, but it's not good enough. Practice more. Wow, you're real determined too, huh? Are you practicing for a concert or something? Well, yes, in a way. When my singing gets better, I would love to sing for everyone. 
I'll travel to Alma Moon and become the most famous singer in the whole world. You too. Jeepers, you sure do think big, but if you work real hard, I'm sure your dream will come true someday. But look, Ollie boy, your lock itself training my lantern. This girl's got ambitious spirit, no mistake. So if you don't mind, I'll ask you a favor. Favor? Well, I'll try to help. As well, would you mind closing your eyes just for a couple seconds? Gee, this game is fun. Close my eyes. Yoink. Let's just rely for a better tomorrow. Damn some ambition. Hee hee, what happened? My heart tickled a bit. Yeah. Now to give it to this kid. Is this the last one? Am I done? Done with this heart business? Uh. Give. feel different. What did I worry about? I forget. No matter, my precious old packus must let be let out to pasture. I have no time to waste. Now oh, there's an alpaca loving lad. Let's look. Looks like he's back to his old self. Sure does. Hopefully now he'll make his dream come true. And now, thank you for listening to me. Talking with you really helped. Please take this. Thank you. All be gone. Oh, I needed those. Packing it in. A young boy is about to give up his dream of becoming the greatest alpaca herder in Perdido. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna see how much uh, stars I have. It's enough, I might just do those last two. Eight, let's eight, sixteen. Yes, uh, you just need to do one of them. Which one is it? Uh, Winter Isles. Old Smoky. Let's go to Old Smoky. Is that the top? Alright. I'm gonna fast forward over there. Well, at least I got this guy. Yeah. 
Oh wait, why am I double now? Okay. Ready? Ready? I guess I just broke in my controller because I'm getting to this again. <laughs>
Oh, come on. the closest uh, resolution. Name the bounties. Double bath gem. And heat ray gem. experience. I only needed four. Well, whatever. I needed one just to beat it. Um, I'll probably do Jack of All Trades. Then this, I guess. And then, yeah. Alright. Uh, let's travel to Perdita. Alright, looks like I gotta go through here. Anyway, uh, I'll end episode here, and then next time we'll go to the Miasma Woods or whatever it's called. Thanks for watching, see ya, bye! <laughs>